All right, we are going to check the index on this Polaris Fuji 780 motor. The reason for checking the index is if the index is off, you can melt holes in the center of pistons. So in the center, there'll be a hole. Um, this is what it looks like when you start to melt a hole in the center of a piston. This was caused by the index on my PTO, which is the rear where the drive shaft hooks, um, PTO cylinder index was off and so we are rebuilding this motor with a new crank and everything because of that. Um, so the tools you'll need is a style indicator. You can buy these at Harbor Freight. Look down here. It's, uh, Central Tools and Company. Um, that's the part number 6450. It's a brake, rotor, and ball joint gauge and uh, this is what it looks like. It comes with the gauge and the vice grips and you um, just have to adjust it to to work. Okay, so anyway, um, as you can see, once I get the cylinder up to top dead center, I'm going to take my um, degree wheel here and I'm gonna center it at zero, okay? And I can use this thing to move it or bend it. I just loosen one of the head bolts and I put this uh, thing. This is basically the things they use to hold fences on to the poles. You can buy these at Ace Hardware, Lowe's, they bend, it's just real easy metal and I can just loop it around the bolt. Now what I do is once I get this up to top dead center, I come up here and you'll see your gauge could be sitting all funky like that. And once you figure out whatever top dead center is, keep pointing up here. Um, if you turn the cylinder and you'll see it move when it gets to the highest point, you'll see right there's the highest point, I'll zero it out. And uh, if I go to the left, should go down if I go to the right it should go down see so we are at top dead I'm a little tiny off there anyway now if you look down here I'm at zero also okay and I would want to zero this too I could um, I, I worked on it a little bit I had to loosen this bolt and move this a little bit until I got it to line up but once you get it close you can bend this to get it to where you want so now what I'm gonna do is um, I got this at zero if I were to turn this to let's see 120 you would see at 120 my center cylinder is up now look over here see my center cylinder now my center cylinder is up and my number three cylinders down PTO is your number three your mag cylinder is your number one this would be your number two and your PTO is number three so I would check this and make sure that this one zeroes out now I'm going to show you come back over to this another one so let's say that this one was at top dead center right now which would be at 120 if I kept turning this around when I get to 240 the, the mag cylinder is going to come up so if I keep coming around did I pass it already I messed up that was actually the anyway we'll get back to uh, TDC which I said was zero here and you'll see when I start checking this I'm at zero I should be at zero there now if I wasn't at zero if I was like this if I was six degrees off because if you take each dot that's a degree if i was six degrees off if i wasn't at zero my index would be off so i'm going to show you we're going to set this back to zero we're going to double check it so it's at zero i got my best point here at my highest point so actually that was my highest point right there and i'm at zero okay so now what we'll do is we'll move this 120 this this way and if I move it 120 that way, this is how I have it. Instead of 120 and 240, um, this degree wheel, I have to just set 120 and 120. So we'll keep going here on the outside. When we get to 120, we would stop here. And I would take this, and I'm just going to loosen this right here. I'm just going to move this over to my number two cylinder. I'll tighten this back up here. It's pretty cool. I have it already pretty much adjusted, so it won't move anymore. And... Uh, Let's see, there we go. We'll just get this as centered as I can. Drop it down a little bit. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zero this out. Now, like I said, this should be pointing at 120. Now if I move this and I move that, they should be at my highest point. Let's see, so I went down, I go back to 120. I go down the other way and it goes down. So see, let's find the highest point. So what I'm gonna do is look at this gauge I'm looking for the highest point and my highest point is right there and am I lined up at 120 looks like I'm lined up at 120 so my index is good between this cylinder and this cylinder so now what I gotta do 
is if I rotate this back, <clears throat> see they have 120. Here's the other 120 right there. Usually if you start at zero, it goes 120 and then it goes to 240. But what it does is it goes to 180 and then it starts going back down. So if I'm at 120 here, I should be a top dead center here now. So what I do is I come back over here and I set this cylinder up just like the other ones here. Let's see if I can get this to, to work for me. I'm just looking for the highest point. There we go. There we go. That just messed up. So all we're doing right now is setting the gauge. Okay, once it's set, I'm looking here at the 120. We're going to look for the highest point here. And as you can see, I'm at the highest point right there. We'll set it to zero. Oh, shoot. I moved the gauge a little bit. Let's look again and see if I'm still at the highest point. Okay, we can zero it out again. But we should look down here and are we at 120? If we are, then I've got 120. They're all within 120 of each other. My index is good and I'm ready to go. But if I were to turn this to 105, 115, and that was my highest point, my index would be off. So they need to be all need to be 120. You start out with zero usually is on the, I believe the center, and then you go 120 and 240. But the way I did this degree wheel, it's kind of neat. So if I go back to zero, what happens is if I go from zero, it goes 10, 20, 30. So it goes, usually in a, uh, you would go 10, 20, 30, all the way to 240, or to two, three, what is it, 260? 240, 360 would be a full circle. But this three wheel is kind of nice. It goes 10 all the way this way. So if I do 120 on this side and I do 120 over here, that's what you got, zero, 120, 120. And that's how I get it. And so, and on a normal, you would get zero, 120, and then you would check at 240. Um, so that's how it goes: zero, 120, 240, or you can go zero, 120, zero, 120, and that's how the steering wheel works. So the index on this crank is good, and uh, I'm happy. Uh, my wife was kind enough to make me this steering wheel on the computer. Um, and we found perfect center on this and then I took a piece of cardboard, cut out perfect center to it and we glued it with uh, just regular Elmer's glue and made our own degree wheel. So it's kind of nice. I use it every time I build one of these Polaris engines. So, Alright, um, thank you for watching and hope that helps somebody out.